Hi everyone, just a minute to go before the start time at 12.30. Thank you very much for coming back to Wellness Wednesday, episode two in this mini-series. Um, yes, so today, oh my God, it's so exciting. Um, today I'm going to make focus on around a little drink and then lunchtime treats and lunchtime um, ideas. Um, so I've got a soup, but it's really focusing on gut health and also a lovely tasty salad again, really focusing on gut health there and a fabulous, uh, really simple immune boosting um, drink, which will be full or shot as it's called, but full of lovely, yummy vitamin C. So how are we doing, everybody? Uh, did you enjoy the Wellness Wednesday last week? Please do put your comments in um, under this video. So just to let you know, and I will repeat this later on in the video, I'm going to be making the food today and where I finish off and present the food, um, which will probably be just after this session, I'll take some photographs and then I'll be uploading all that and the finishing stuff on my blog, which is on www.duchessofandor.com. So um, there you will see all the uh, finished dishes. So hi, hi Melissa, lovely to see you, thanks for joining. Um, so yes, today we are going to make, it is a, just let me bring it up on the, on my thing, but it, uh, as I said, it's an immune, immune boosting drink, which is really based just around lemon and water with some um, bit of honey. Then also a miso chicken noodle soup, but with a twist. So as I mentioned in the write-up, just had a little collaboration with the amazing Elizabeth Davidson, the fat-burning guru, who just gave us a few tweaks to that recipe to make it even more healthier for you. So let me, when I get started, show you how easy it is to make tweaks to some of these recipes on Cookie Do to make them even more healthy for you. So it's half past now, so I will make a start. And I'm going to make a start on the miso chicken noodle soup. So let me take you over here. It's amazing I had to do my own production. Oh, oh, quickly, I'm wearing the Wonder Woman apron today because as some of you will be aware, Vortworks are raising funds and awareness for women's aid this month. So I will put, if you would like to, I will put a link um, out with this video. If you'd like to make a donation to Women's Aid, that would be really fantastic. We are targeting Vortworks and all the advisors. We're looking to raise £50,000 this month. And I think we're halfway there already. So it would be amazing. However little, whatever you can do, a little donation would be really fantastic. So hence why the aprons on there. Hi, Darren, how you doing? Oh, I think we've got Elizabeth on as well. Hi, guys. Right, I must start, otherwise I'm going to get way too excited. And so first of all, we're going to go into the noodle soup. So again, it's on the Cookie Do app. So I haven't had to go and look at books and things like that just perused through Cookie Do and I did a search under gut health and found lots of different recipes that I could have chosen today. So I'm going to press start. All right, now what it's saying is first of all, as Cookie Do always does, gives you the step-by-step -step guides, even those instructions away from the Thermomix. It's asking me to prepare 200 grams of dried noodles of choice as per the packet. Well, in my quest, to absolutely remove processed food. And as I mentioned, that amazing collaboration with Elizabeth, we've made a slight little change and we've got carrot noodles. <gasps> oh my God, how exciting is that? So simple and so much better for you. Hi Nicola, so much better for you than the noodles. I mean, noodles may be fine, but this will really give you and help you with your gut health. So we're just gonna skip over that one. And now we're gonna go straight into, oops, sorry, I missed that one. Straight into it saying, it's telling me to weigh 200 grams, um, 20 grams of fresh ginger. Now I literally get my fresh ginger, I clean it, I let it soak in some water and with a couple of drops of lemon juice, uh, fresh lemon essential oil, and also I use doTERRA oils and they have a fantastic range called On Guard. And I've got the hand foam wash that I do. I put a few pumps in my um, sink and then I literally, that's how I wash all my vegetables. As you can see, I just leave my skin on my ginger. Again, anything to make my life easy is what I is what I look for. So there we go, 20 grams of 
in there it weighed now it's going to tell me to put on the lid so i'm going to put that on and here we go three seconds and it's going to chop all that lovely ginger up for me there we go you can hear it's probably gone spun today right just let me open this up and then it's going to go straight through. most of that oh i feel buzzing already just the smell of that gorgeous chopped ginger in there there we go it's chopped all that up now it's asking me to do 100 grams of liquid chicken stock or bone broth so as some of my lovelies who are on here know the cookie do is amazing to help you start cooking from absolute scratch and what i've got here is my lovely homemade chicken stock paste no nasties in here at all it's the leftovers of the chicken bone that I boiled up and also the, that chicken carcass, I took all the chicken off and vegetables and cooked it in here and then just the salt to preserve it. So, you know, that's all there is in here. And here we go, look, I've already made this up into the stock and I'm now going to put that straight into there. I'm just giving it a stir because I really want to get it. So all that at the bottom there. So yeah, so this is a really exciting um, collaboration. I'm hoping that um, maybe Lizzie, uh, Elizabeth and I, and Liz, Lizzie, as we call them, will do a little bit more. Um, she's got an amazing group on Facebook. I recommend that you go and uh, have a look at that. Elizabeth Davidson, the fat burning guru. She's got a five day program to really get you into the right mindset for um, really changing your life, your diet, basically. Um, one of her buzzwords, is, things that she does is she used to over-exercise and under-eat and now she under <laughs> not so much exercise and eats what she likes and she's never been in such great health. So this is so exciting for us to have um, Elizabeth on board. So now it's asking me to put in 50 grams of white... Um, mizu paste so mizu it's fermented so this is where we're going to get that activity for your gut health in there um so there we go i'm just going to plop that straight in these are available from your usual oh hello supermarkets they're all on the main uh, in the main aisles now so really easy to get hold of no no rockets involved you don't have to go on a um no hunting around for these ingredients. In fact, actually, I'd used up my jar, so I just popped down to good old Waitrose this morning while I was out on a dog walk. All those local to me, you know that's just down the road. Press next. Right, 40 grams of tamari. So I use a gluten-free one. Again, try and use it so it's not been overly processed. That's what you're looking for. Remember to really engage that good bacteria got to be looking for your ingredients as close as possible from source so that means you don't want it being going through a heat process or refinement process really you've really got to look for it as natural as possible to really help and optimize that gut health so and also your cell your um cell structure you know last week i was whipping on about cell structure wasn't it so here we go put the lid on it's telling me so all i'm doing is when now it's going to cook this for one minute uh, 10 minutes on 100 degrees c so whilst it's doing that i'm going to get on with another recipe which is the drink over here on my trusty tm5 now you definitely won't see the screen on this one so just let me recap for those guys who are just coming online. Today's menu is all about the lunchtime gut reset dishes. So I've put on them a miso chicken noodle soup, but switched out the noodles for fabulous, basically noodle chicken uh, carrots. This is just spiralized carrots. Really, really simple. Um, then I'm now going to make an immune boosting drink a little shot to give you a bit of an uplift to avoid all that afternoon slump. And then we're gonna get on with an amazing tuna salad. Again, with another little twist on. So let me crack straight on here. Again, I'm going into my weekly planner. I'm just gonna go to see what I've got. No, that's the wrong day. Oh, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. I forgot almost about that. So here we go, an immune boost in drink. Immune, immune, I'm saying that wrong today. I don't. Press next. 
it's asking me to put in two lemons peeled, white pith and pits removed. So, a little tip for you here, especially um, if you do use your lemons. Um, when you're peeling your lemons, don't throw the peel away. I just put them in a little bag in the freezer and I'll use them in smoothies. I use them with my turmeric drink and lots, you know, when I'm doing curries and things like that. So don't throw away the lemon peel. Now, it's asking me to take all the pips out, but you know what? I'm gonna sieve it later. And what this bad boy can't grind up is not worth knowing. So I'm just gonna throw that in there, not a problem. Press next. Uh, again, asking me for 20 grams of fresh ginger. So there's my fresh ginger with the skin on because I've cleaned that, so that's not, no baddies getting in there. Press next, four tablespoons of honey or wildflower flavored honey. So last week you saw me with my local honey. I ran out, oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. And um, so when the shop reopens, I'll be able to buy some more. But in the meantime, I'm using a Manuka honey. Again, looking for one that's probably cold pressed. Not You don't want to be doing any over processing if you can. So it's saying four tablespoons of this. Now, we all know that this has got actually, I think it's anti, uh, antibacterial qualities in it. Really great when you've got those sore throats. A bit of cold and sniffle. It's slightly different taste to your regular, probably local honey. It's really quite distinct, but in one of these immune boosting drinks, it's just a fantastic. The lemon will definitely counteract the um, the strong taste of the manuka. Obviously, it's quite expensive manuka, manuka honey, and it's had to travel a long way. I do appreciate that. So here we go. We're just putting in there one more, one more. Gosh, I've really gone through that. This will be one of the most expensive immune boosting drinks I've ever made. <laughs> um, so there we go. I'm going to try and stop myself from literally putting that whole spoon in my mouth. That would just be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, Michaela. So there we go, that's in there. Press next, wait, 200 grams of chilled water. So again, it's just weighing it directly into that machine. Absolutely. And so this is so easy for you to do first thing in the morning. You don't really have to worry about it. Or if you wanted to make it the night before, keep it in the fridge, it'll store up to five days so you can have a little shot every morning. Now it's asking me to put the lid on with the measuring cup in, press next, and I'm just gonna blend all that up onto 10 for one minute. So let's do this look. Put this over here. downside with doing these demonstrations and these amazing machines because of course they're so powerful and they need to be some of the stuff that we do it does make it a little bit noisy it's making a noise yep it was Lindsay it was making uh, this drink you also might be able to hear the um, TM6 going in the background so now now it's telling me look Strain the juice through a fine mesh strainer and then into a shot size glass. So again, so super easy. So as you can see, I've got my strainer here. I'm just going to pour this through slowly. So that's why I didn't bother really. Oh, I probably took, I didn't worry about taking out all those pips because to be honest, the machine will take it. And what I miss here, this, this strainer will do it. So. All I've done so far then, this is the immune boosting drink <laughs> and it is fresh lemons, honey, 
water and ginger and it's just been mixed up or blasted as we call it in the trade um, and now I'm just sieving this through here which will probably be the most most hands-on thing that I do today and um, also going in my TM6 right now is I am making the broth or the, or the base really to a miso chicken noodle soup um, which has got a twist because it's not noodles yeah we're using we're switching out the um, carbon carbohydrated noodles with uh, carrots to really really optimize that gut health once I've done this I will then go on to the um, salad so I'm gonna just do this will be the final bit I do and uh, then I'm gonna leave it to strain and I'll do this at the end and as I said all the finished products I will upload into the members area of www.duchessofangle.com membership is free so if you get yourself over there and sign up you'll end up seeing most of all the finished articles that I do in this series so there we go look that is the uh, so, so all it is and it's so even the color look at that absolutely delicious it's slightly thicker than usual because I've used the manuka honey which is slightly thicker so if you use a more runny yo uh, not yogurt honey it will be a thing so last week I had a little sip didn't I of that amazing fire cider apple vinegar which nearly took my eyes out and burnt my nose but anyway let's try this one it's lovely cheers mmm far more mellow absolutely divine so let's put this over here, we'll come back to that, and what we'll do now is we will crack on. I've got two minutes on that miso soup for now to the next stage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make a really fabulous, super duper um, gut healthy uh, tuna salad. So let me go into here again, the TM5, sorry. <coughs> The TM5 is a slightly smaller screen, so I do have to talk you through this. So here we go, back into my planner today, and we're going to get onto the allergen-friendly tuna <coughs> and sun-dried tomato and uh, tomato with courgette. So here we go. Press start again. The TM5 it actually lists it out here. Oh, thanks, Lindsay. Love my open. I was just promoting that the uh, we're collecting for Women's Aid today, so. I will be putting the link in there for people to go and make a donation. Right, so press that. It's saying 10, fresh, 10 grams of fresh parsley. So I am not using parsley, so I'm just going to skip over that. But that's, again, how easy it is. If you just want to skip a step, that's okay. This sous chef will not swear and curse at you. Unlike any in Gordon Ramsay's kitchen. Bless him, I love Gordon, by the way. No slander there. Right, press next. Um, so then it's going to ask for a clove of garlic press next and it just wants to chop all that up so if I had the parsley in there in fact wait one minute let me add this <coughs> oh yes here we go don't you love just a bit of lime I'm just going to go back I forgot I, knew I have something even better I've got some lovely fresh coriander <coughs> so, so I'm just going to literally put 10 grams of coriander in there look this is already washed, as I say, I wash my vegetables as they come off the market each week in essential oil, a lemon essential oil. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. There we go. So, and I've got, so I've, I changed the parsley for project. Put the garlic in. <coughs> oh dear, I think that juice, let me have a little bit more of this juice. There we go. <clears throat> Elizabeth, hi! I've already been singing your praises, Elizabeth. I'm just about to make a start on the tuna. So I'm just going <coughs> to... Now, it's chopping up the garlic. <laughs> come over here to the miso chicken noodle soup that we've made a twist with recommendations from Elizabeth. As I said, Elizabeth Davidson, the fat burning guru, has helped me. So here we go. I just want to show you that look. The shame this is the smell of vision, but that I could just almost drink that. It feels up, smells absolutely gorgeous. So press next, and now it's telling me, <coughs> sorry, to put in 
500 grams of chicken slightly chopped up so here we go now if you want to make this um, a uh, vegetarian version you can just literally use vegetable stock and um, just miss out putting the chicken in at that point and just skip the level press next put the measuring cup on and press next again and it's going to cook that now for another eight minutes so hi hey darling no you are a little bit late elizabeth but don't worry you haven't missed the main <coughs> main event i was just introducing the three the two dishes and the drink that i'm doing today and um i was saying that after we had our little collaboration we've taken out the noodles and swapped them for noodled carrots which is really going to optimize this dish and improve help you improve that gut health so we are now whizzing back here to the tuna so what we've done look it's chopped up look at that can you chop your coriander and your garlic as fine as that? It's amazing. And again, the smells, I mean, it smells like a medicine kitchen today. So absolutely buzzing with all of us. Now, again, it's asking me for 10 grams of honey. I might not quite have enough honey. As soon as it took my breath away in the drink, I might just take a little bit less. Ooh, that is a little bit much, so just let me... Out there. there we go. <clears throat> Again, as I say, the cookie do just won't shout at you if you do make any mistakes or just add, add a bit more. Now, olive oil, a really great, I went to a foresight with Elizabeth on Monday. It was amazing. Please go to her Facebook page. But she talked about some of her top tips to helping you Forget about talking about calories, but really optimizing the food that you eat and what food you should be eating. And she actually really surprised me about the oils that we have. So I always use extra virgin olive oil and I have nut oils and avocado oil, but who knew vegetable and sunflower oil was so bad for us because it's so over processed. And of course it's in so many things, in crisps and bread, things that we just take for granted. So really be aware of that. Look out for vegetable and sunflower oil. Another great tip from Elizabeth there. So 30 grams of olive oil straight in there. Ooh. Again, look, I'm just weighing directly into the machine, so there's no hassle. So this lunch can be made up. If I stop talking, I could probably make it a lot faster. But I'm not too good all the time at uh, multitasking. Right, lemon juice. Here we go. I squeezed out some lemon juice, so just 20 grams of lemon juice straight in there. Slightly more, but that's okay. Next step, a, a pinch of sea salt. Um, rapeseed oil, apparently it's not okay, but maybe Elizabeth could just um, clarify that for me. Did we discuss uh, rapeseed oil, Elizabeth? I thought we said the same. It wasn't quite so good for us. So press next, a bit of ground pepper. I'll just wait for Elizabeth to uh, maybe come back on that one, Lindsay. Press next, and what we've got. Here we go. So what it's going to do now, it's asking me to put the lid on, but what it's doing here, it's making a fabulous dressing. Oh, wait a minute. I've gone forward there. Right. Wait a minute. Press too many buttons there, so just let me go back. Right. Done, done, here we go. Right, it, measuring lid and uh, cup and lid on, and now it's going to mix that up for... 10 seconds. Oh, no, yes, yes, rapeseed is either um, genetically modified or processed to remove the bitter fatty acid. So avoid rapeseed oil too. So I thought it had omega 3, the cold pressed version, not the highly refined ones. The oils are rigid. Yeah, so I think we did talk about cold press. So I think as long as you're looking at the cold press, because it is omega-3 and in the processing to, uh, process, that's what actually take, uh, actually breaks down that omega-3. Right, press next. So we've, what we've done now, look, we've actually made a dressing, which is going to be the base of our, our salad there. So it says add 10 sun-dried tomatoes roughly chopped so don't you love the taste of sun-dried tomatoes it really gives an um to a lot of dishes then it's a really simple 
just some um, tin tuna. So again, you know, this is in spring water. I get this uh, um, sustainably sourced. So there we go. Try and always think about um, where your food comes from. Here. Oh, Elizabeth saying the cold press will be uh, genetically modified also. So, and then press next. Right, it's telling you to now combine all that lovely food together. So I'm just stirring it in here. And before my next base of my soup is done, I think we've already made the drink and now we're making the... Um, so press next. Okay, so here we go. So now it's telling me to divide um, courgette ribbons or spiralised vegetables, spiralised ribbons into a plate. So I'm going to just uh, plate one up for you for now. So on Monday I made, and this is amazing, I put, I put it out on YouTube, the power of just slightly changing a recipe name. I made a tuna and courgette and red pepper lasagna, okay? So... If I told my husband that we're having tuna, courgette and red pepper lasagna, he would have gone, ooh, there's no pasta in it. And he would have just been really dis uh, disappointed. So what I said was, oh, we're having tuna and vegetable bake. And I preserved it up and they loved it. They were like, oh my God, it was amazing. But anyway, I have some extra ribbon um, courgettes, so leftover. So they've been just for two minutes, two or three minutes, they were steamed. So I'm just gonna put those in here, look some left over and then all you're going to do is literally put some of this lovely tuna sun-dried tomato mix up with this really amazing it's raw honey um extra virgin olive oil and lemon freshly squeezed lemon so all i'm going to do is just put a little bit on top of here and there we have a fabulous really good you could make this up and put it in your little packed lunch when you have to start going back to the office and you will be the envy of everybody in the office. So let me show you that. So we're literally 25 minutes in. Here we go. So let's press next and it's finished there. So that recipe is done. So here we go. Oh, can see, I will take pictures of this later, but there we go, a lovely, healthy, um, most, again, if you don't eat fish, you could subsidize that for any um, more vegetable alternatives, but a lovely soup. So here we go so far, 25 minutes in, and we have a lovely tuna salad. We've got a rogue courgette there, and um, my immune boosting drink just there. Now, we're just 42 seconds down, and where we are is coming back to just 30 seconds into the miso soup so we're halfway through this recipe and uh, what i know what's coming up it's going to ask me to start loading up the vegetables and you're going to really see the um, benefit of the thermomix here because not only so far have i just been weighing ingredients in there and it's sauteed ingredients it's cooking the um, soup base but also we're going to show you the multi-layered function which is in the Varoma dish which I've got here Varoma dish and tray look so it really is you can cook meals all in one and also with cookie do just how simple it is to make slight tweaks to it let me go on to next here we go so using a slotted um, spoon what they want us to do now is take out the chicken so Again, I'm just going to literally lift this out and place it into a thermal bowl. So these are the fabulous Thermomix thermal bowls. I don't think they're really available yet here, but um, separately to buy, but they are amazing. But really, you just need to put it into a bowl and you want to keep, just put to one side this chicken and then you just will um, keep it warm if you're going to serve it straight away. Um, or if not, uh, you're going to heat it up a little bit later. But here we go, look. I'm just taking out that chicken. Again, we don't want it overcooked. This is an amazing thing about the machine. Yes, Elizabeth, I'm weighing my food directly in here. So it's great for portion controlling. So as well as helping me remove processed foods out of my diet, the other thing that really helped me with, which I'm terrible and my husband will vouch for this, was I'd always cook massive portions of food all the time. And I definitely overfed my family. I have that in the 
really want to, I'm a feeder, I can't help it. <laughs> but with the Thermomix and with me weighing directly into there, what happens is that I'm, I'm controlling our portion sizes and really we're getting what we need rather than overeating because there's nothing worse than really having way too much food and feeling bloated. So it told me to put that to one side, so again, on the instructions here, press next, and now it's saying to, um, Leave the soup. So here's the soup, look, in here. I really, oh, honestly, that is hug in the mixing bowl. It is so fantastic. We've got to get a riddle on. We're really near the end. Right, okay, so here we go. Where's my lid? Put my lid back on, it's telling me. Then it's asking me to put the Veroma dish in. So here we go. Place the Veroma dish. Press next. Weigh in 200 to 300 grams of Savoy cabbage. Now I didn't have Savoy cabbage, I had curly kale. My family's gonna love me, isn't it? So I'm just gonna plump that in there. Great, I mean, you know, again, I'm adapting the recipe and no shout. It's also said one bunch of Asian greens, chopped about two centimeters. Spring greens, they were on offer on the market. I couldn't help myself, you know I love a bargain, don't you? Right, so, and then press next. Right, this is where I'm gonna show you. You know, at the beginning, it said to go and cook your noodles, your dried packet noodles, as per the instruction. Well, let me just show you here what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the tray on here. So really getting some multiple layers on here. And I'm just gonna put these lovely, gorgeous, spiralized, noodled carrots, literally spiralized carrots. They're gonna look fantastic in the bowl and they're just gonna deliver a real wow factor to the dish. And then all I need to do is put this lid on and press next and it's gonna cook away for two, uh, five minutes. So we might just run out of time, but I will just see if I can um, get us to at least showing this. So the next step on the machine, it's saying, whilst this is cooking, is to shred your chicken, okay? So what that just means is just, so obviously if you're gonna eat this with your Chinese spoon and your um, chopsticks, you can pick this up a little bit. So all I'm gonna do now is quickly uh, shred this chicken while I'm chatting to you. So Lizzie, if you don't have the ingredients, bring something similar in. Yes, that's right, Elizabeth. So what I'm doing is, just changing and adapting the recipes as I go along. Um, either, either because I just want to change the recipe or I look at what's in my fridge and my stock cupboard and say, right, well, I don't have that, but I can substitute it for something else. Um, I, before cookie do, before my thermomixes, I wouldn't have dreamed of cooking this. I Probably the closest I would have got to was getting some of that dry miso, putting some boiling water on and throwing a bit of coriander on. But now I've got access to over 65,000 recipes. Now, I will caveat that it's about 10,000 of those recipes are in English. But if you use Google Translate, you've got 65,000 recipes literally at the touch of a button on a touch screen that can really help and inspire you. And they're really easy. I mean, some of the recipes are advanced, don't get me on with the baking. I don't know if Lindsay's still on. I don't want to remind my catastrophic failure and my icing on my son's birthday cake. But some of the some of the recipes, it's even categorised a difficulty, and you can go easy, medium, or advanced. I always stick with easy if I can. And, and also things that I look for are ones that have got a really short cook, prep and cooking time. I just want the maximum. Um, impact with the least amount of effort going into my cooking. Um, so here we go. Look. And of course, the reason why it's so easy to start adapting the recipes is because with the cookie do step by step guide, still keeps me on track. So I know when I'm adding things and, and and how to and how long they cook. So I don't get I don't end up with things burnt in a pan, which pre thermomix type days, I probably would do. So there we go. I've literally just shredded those chickens in here, that chicken in there. So what that's gonna do now is once that once that cooked, we've got two and a half minutes. We'll just get to the two and a half minutes. I want to stay on to get these final lovely, jubbly ingredients, which are some mushrooms. So again, what it asks for, it's gonna ask me for some mushrooms. They were shredded chicken. I can't say it. 
Chad Siki, mushrooms. Not going to say that very well, am I? Um, in there, but it also asked for enoki mushrooms. They're like the ones that look like bean sprouts. I can get them. So I've literally just got a mixture of some woodland mushrooms here from the supermarket. So again, adapting the recipe slightly just as with what you've got in stock. And also it helps you keep things, you know, if you want to really follow the season so you can really use seasonal vegetables. So it just takes the pain out of trying to having to think about what you're doing. So just some more features I want to talk about on the Thermomix. So not only have we got our, I'll do it in front of the machine because you don't want to see me. So, so not only have we got this amazing housing unit that chops and slices and grinds and mills, but it sautés and cooks and boils and broils. Um, and it's such made of stainless steel. Oh, just burnt my hand there, it's hot, Michaela. Then we've got the steaming, um, what's called the Varoma dish and tray. It also comes with an, um, an inserted simmering basket as well, so you can get really multi layered cooking. Um, also, um, what this comes with is you've got your butter, butterfly whisk. Um, and also then you've got this um, platform or the operating system that's connected to the internet to a cooking platform called Cookie and that's where you get your guided recipes from. Um, you've seen me this today or last night, we've got the announcement, so if you're watching this after March, cancel what I'm about to say. But for the next two weeks of March 2021, we have the one year interest free offer. It is amazing. I bought my first Thermomix on interest free. Let me tell you how I did it, right? Literally, my challenge was I need to buy this amazing machine without incurring any cost. So I took my monthly housekeeping allowance that I used for my shopping and I was able to reduce my shopping bill to be able to afford the monthly payments. Then I think it was about 19, 92 pound. So, so you can seriously make some serious savings um, from this machine. So, um, and, and so the investment actually is a great return of investment. Right, now it's asking me to um, divide the cooked greens um, into serving bowls. But there we go, look, oh, they're still lovely and crisp. And here's the vegetables, look, look literally just steamed. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the, that bowl there. So let me, I'm not gonna do individual serving. Right, press next. So it's asking me, we're in the final stages now, add the fresh shatiki, shatiki, I can't say it, I'm not gonna say it. Those mushrooms, okay, finely sliced. Press next, and the um, 100 grams of fresh enoki, enoki uh, mushrooms. Just put them in there. I didn't have them, so I just used a mixture of wood, woodland mushrooms. Right, now it's telling me to put the measuring lid on, um, cup and lid on, press next, and it's gonna cook those on reverse for a final two minutes. So, just let me finish off. I'm going to serve this up, I'm gonna take lots of lovely photographs of it all, and I will load it up into the members area of www.duchessofoundall.com. So if go along there, it's free to become a member. You will see me um, adding the Wellness Wednesday onto there. So here I am looking, I'm just putting these lovely carrot noodles, in fact I can put all that in there, um, in here. So go along, sign up for free, or free, I shouldn't say for free, and you'll get to see what all this lovely food's about. I really want to thank Elizabeth for giving me some um, help today and making sure that the choices, what I used, the ingredients that I used in these dishes today really helped optimise that um, gut health. So again, please go over to Elizabeth Davidson, the Fat Guru uh, Facebook page. Go and have a look. Go and look at what she does. This lady is amazing. She knows, she just is an absolute, um, what's the word, an expert in her field. So please go along. She also helps you around, talks around that mindset that you need. And it's about a lifestyle change. It just isn't a fad diet. And um, I had to wear my suit yesterday. Now, everybody's talking about what they're gonna do when they come out of lockdown. I had to put a suit on because I was interviewing yesterday. I thought I'd better pick my fat suit on. I put my fat suit on, fell off me. So I went and got one of my ordinary suits. I can't believe it. Over lockdown, I have eaten like, well, like a duchess. Amazing, from scratch, unprocessed food. I've enjoyed wine as well. Close your ears, Elizabeth. And I really had a great 
um, diet. It's been amazing. Yes, I got, I've got. i not run for six weeks now because I twisted my ankle. So I've just got other movement in there. And look, I'm feeling the best I've ever felt. And that really is because I've been thinking about what I'm putting on inside me. So please join us. Come along. Go speak to Elizabeth. Come and see me. Approach. Drop me a line. Book your own personalised demo. And I can show you how this amazing machine, along with Cookie Do, can really transform your lifestyle. <laughs> oh, that's good. I feel better. Elizabeth said that she enjoys a glass of wine too. So thank you for joining me. I've gone slightly over today. I was trying to keep in the uh, half an hour, but this will be out on um, Facebook soon. And as I said, if you would like to see all the finished dishes, please go along to my blog, duchessofandal.com. Sign up free to the members area and all this lovely food will be displayed on there. I really want to thank you today for coming along. Big shout out to Elizabeth. Thank you. Or Lizzie. Sorry, I'm calling her by her formal name because it's there. Thank you to Lizzie. Thank you for helping out today. It's a great collaboration. I'm really looking forward to doing a lot more with you. So take care, everybody. And remember, it's not about surviving. We all deserve to thrive. So... Speak to you soon and do get in touch with free demo. Take care, everybody. Bye.